Today, let's do a demo of HomeZada's home maintenance features. From the main dashboard, click on the maintenance icon, and we're going to go to the maintenance dashboard that shows the user real quick, high level, what tasks are due in the next three days, this next seven days, how many are overdue, and a series of uh, ways to um, navigate the home maintenance features. So if we click on task list, uh, if you saw the first video, HomeZada automatically pre-populates about 50 common preventative maintenance tasks and at the top there's a tab called the recurring schedule. These are the tasks that happen um, or are suggested to happen annually, sometimes they're quarterly, sometimes they're twice a year and these are the things that pretty much every home needs to do to make sure their home is operating efficiently, safely and in a healthy manner and the users can go through and uh, review our uh, recurring schedule here and obviously you can add new ones or you could delete the ones that you don't think apply. It's entirely up to you but you can see here there's a, a lot of great preventative maintenance tasks that are automatically on the calendar for you. So then when you go to the individual tasks here, now these are actually showing you the dates that these things are due. Right, so uh, everything from replacing your air filters to here's a good task that most people don't know about. Uh, the back of your dryer is connected to the duct that needs to be uh, cleaned from lint because it's a fire hazard. So if you click on that task, one other thing that you can do is you can track uh, who's responsible for it. You could use this to divvy up work between multiple family members. You can use it to track contractors. You can even click on the how to tab and we're going to even show you if you've never cleaned the back of your uh, dryer vent. We've got a little video that you can see. Uh, so there's even content that helps you um, understand how to do some of these tasks. If we go back to the uh, task list, you can see here next to the name, you see this little three quarter of a clock icon that shows you that it's a recurring task. But you can also use Homes Auto to track what I call fix it or repair tasks. So you can see here I've got a task called fix the broken gutter which is essentially I'm using this to track all of the details around. I've got broken gutters as a result of some storm. I've come in here and identified uh, how much I think it's going to cost. Uh, I may even have called a roofing contractor to come out and do it for me. I can even take multiple photos. These are obviously the photos of the broken gutters. I can take photos once the gutters are, are completed. I can even upload any documents or receipts that maybe a contractor is going to charge me for that. Um, and then when I'm when the task is done, I can denote when it was done and track the actual cost. This is great for uh, historical maintenance purposes. So you can see uh, if I go back to the task list, there's also a great feature at the top where you can filter tasks. Again, this gives you the ability to say, uh, show me tasks that are overdue, show me two tasks that are due in the next seven days, 14 days. You can even filter tasks again by who's responsible for that task. This could be again a mix of multiple family members who's doing which task. It could even be uh, outside contractors that you have doing certain maintenance on your home as well. You can also view all of your maintenance tasks on a calendar view. This becomes handy to kind of see everything at a very high level. Um, and here you can obviously uh, do drag and drop and say I'm just going to move all these tasks to uh, this weekend uh, and get that information that way. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, if I go back to the task list, again, I'm demonstrating this uh, based on my uh, desktop, but the user has the exact same experience if they were to log in to their HomeZada account with a mobile phone. Again, you see the, the exact same task list, the ability to access the recurring schedule. Uh, customers love this because they have access to their account with multiple different device types. Uh, moving on, uh, if I go to the recommendations menu here, Homes Auto also has about uh, 75 to 100 other uh, maintenance recommendations. These are things that you can personalize for your own property calendar. Again, things that you're going to have to do regularly. Maybe you want a reminder to fertilize the lawn. Maybe you want a reminder that you really need to make sure that the, the fence around your pool is inspected for safety requirements. All you have to do is really just hit add task and it's going to basically put that on your calendar uh, and then you're automatically going to get those reminders over when those things need to get done. Also, if you're tracking your completed tasks, a lot of our customers will track completed tasks and they'll do this for the things that actually uh, had, ex had costs associated with them. Clearly some preventative maintenance tasks are just uh, your time or somebody's time to do it. Others may actually have costs where you've hired a tree trimmer to trim some uh, shrubs or you hired somebody to clean your gutters and downspouts. Again, this is good from a historical tracking perspective um, as it relates to reporting on that information which you can do from the main maintenance dashboard. 
again here uh, in the upper right hand corner again you can also see we have a scorecard here the system is automatically kind of trying to predict how much you should be budgeting for preventative maintenance uh, tracking your actual cost to date but if I go to the reports menu here I'm going to get a slightly different report that kind of shows me by month uh, how much am I spending on certain maintenance and the good thing is you can always go back to previous years and you're like oh how much did I spend on maintenance last year really trying to assess you know exactly what my total cost of ownership is as it relates to my overall home uh, if I go back to the uh, main dashboard again a lot of these maintenance tasks are going to surface in the newsfeed so again you've got uh, those same three tasks that we just moved are showing up on my newsfeed again which is a great powerful thing because it's always the place to get personalized recommendations uh, about what you should be doing to manage your house. Thanks for watching our demonstration about the Homes Auto Home Maintenance features.